Hello guys, don't forget to drop a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Let us know in the comments what stadium you'd love to visit this season. And meanwhile, we are getting started. Let's go. Marco Rosa has officially been appointed as a coach at RB Leipzig to replace Domenico Tedesco. The contract is until the summer of 2024. Former Liverpool goalkeeper Loris Karius is close to signing for Newcastle. Milan have extended a contract with Bosnian midfielder Rade Kronic until the summer of 2025. Bayer Leverkusen are not going to sack their head coach Gerardo Sioane, despite their worst start to a season in 40 years. Six losses in seven games. The five best goalkeepers right now, Courtois, Ederson Oblak, Ter Stegen and Neuer, Real Madrid legend Iker Casillas said. Friends, a minute of your attention. We have great news from our friends, the One Football app. In addition to other great features of this application, which we have already recommended to you several times, there is another one that will totally please you. From now on, the UK and Ireland residents will have streams of Italian Serie A fixtures available for free. Every Saturday, you'll have one evening match to watch and also be able to get access to all game reviews. Very convenient stuff. The next clash to watch for free is Sampdoria with Milan Battle. What could be better? Top notch football for free. Be quick to download the One Football app. Link is given in the comment section. UEFA named Robert Lewandowski the Player of the Week in the Champions League. The former coach of Spezia and Genoa, Thiago Motta, will become Bologna's head coach, replacing Sinisa Mihailovic. Former Manchester United and Chelsea midfielder Juan Mata has arrived in Istanbul to sign a contract with Galatasaray. Besiktas have announced the signing of Nathan Redmond as a free agent on a one-year contract. Saudi Arabia, Greece and Egypt are set to submit a joint bid to host the 2030 World Cup. Wolverhampton have reached a full agreement to sign Diego Costa as a free agent. The conference league game between Nice and Köln started almost 40 minutes late due to violent clashes between fans. One of the fans is in serious condition. Brighton under-21 coach Andrew Crofts will take charge of the senior team ahead of the game against Bournemouth. Adam Lallana, who has suffered an injury until October, will become his assistant. Galatasaray have confirmed the signing of Mauro Icardi on loan from PSG. The French club will cover 60% of his salary. Kylian Mbappe's goal against Juventus after Neymar's magically lopped pass has been named the best in the Champions League first round. Seven players have been nominated for the best player of August in the Premier League. Erling Haaland, Wilfred Zaha, Gabriel Jesus, Alexandra Mitrovic, Nick Pope, Pascal Gross and Rodrigo. We'll see in winter. I think every guy dreams about playing in the Premier League. Arsenal is a very good team with a very good coach. From my side, I can't say no to Arsenal, but a transfer is not only my decision, Shakhtar prodigy Mikhailo Midruk said. Arsenal's new signing, Brazilian winger Marquinhos, scored his debut goal for the Gunners in the game against Zurich. Tuchel was not happy with Chelsea's transfers. He was hoping to sign De Ligt and Rafinha. Five coaches are nominated for August's Premier League Manager of the Month. Mikel Arteta, Pep Guardiola, Marco Silva, Graham Potter and Antonio Conte. Milan is a special team and a special city. I would definitely return if given the opportunity, Sion's striker Mario Balotelli admitted. Adana Demirspor are looking to sign Everton striker Salomon Rondon. Former Real Madrid midfielder Casemiro for the first time appeared in Manchester United's starting eleven. It happened in a Europa League clash against Real Sociedad. Luton's head coach Nathan Jones is a potential candidate to replace Graham Potter at Brighton. Galatasaray has initiated talks over the transfer of Wolverhampton winger Adama Traore. Leeds United plan to sign Red Bull Salzburg and Swiss international forward Noah Okafor. Crystal Palace intend to start negotiations with Wilfred Zaha to offer a contract extension in the coming days. Aston Villa midfielder Douglas Lewis can sign a pre-contract with Juventus this winter to join them as a free agent in the summer of 2023. Norwich winger Milot Rashica signs for Galatasaray, has already arrived at the camp of his new club. Football Manager 2023 will be released on November 8. The game will have officially licensed UEFA competitions. Jack Hill did not expect to be fired from Chelsea. On Wednesday morning, he arrived at the training ground to start preparing the team for the game against Fulham. Sevilla are going to sack Julian Lopetegui if the team loses to Espanyol this weekend. 
Latios, Europa League match against Feyenoord became the 300th for Sergei Milinkovic Savic in the Roman club's jersey. Manchester United are willing to reward Marcus Rashford with a new five year contract. The European competitions are underway. 32 games took place yesterday in Europa and Conference Leagues. Let's have a brief look and proceed to the top news. Manchester United have a nightmare start to their European competition journey. Even their Europa League debutant Ronaldo was helpless that night. The Portuguese striker started in United's lineup but was unable to score. Real Sociedad's Bryce Mendes found his opportunity from the spot and achieved a victory for his team at Old Trafford. As for Arsenal, their almost reserved sport still got a victory over the Swiss champions from Zurich. Marquinhos and Edin Katia scored for the Gunners. They also assisted each other. The failures of the day award belongs to two Italian teams. Jose Mourinho's with his super squad at Roma somehow managed to lose against Ludogorets in Bulgaria, despite using nearly his best 11. Kohli and Nonato are the goal scorers for Ludogorets, while Shumurodov scored a goal for the Giallo Rossi. Another sensation now in the Conference League happened in Florencia, where Fiorentina played a 1 1 draw with a pure debutant to the European competitions, Latvian RFS. Seven goals trailer for Villarreal against Lech. The 62nd minute marked a score of 3 3, but Kotielin's late winner brought three points for the Yellow Submarine. Chelsea have officially announced the appointment of Graham Potter as their new head coach. The 47-year-old Englishman has signed a five-year contract at Stamford Bridge. It's also known that Brighton will receive a £21 million offset fee for parting with Potter and his coaching staff. Graham had already arrived at the Chelsea camp and was introduced to the team. This weekend's Premier League matches are almost certain to be postponed following the death of Queen Elizabeth II as the United Kingdom enters a 10 day period of mourning. This means the sporting schedule in the whole country has to be halted as a result. There is no official announcement from the Premier League yet, although the games of the Sky Bet Championship and lower divisions that had to be played on Friday have already been rescheduled. Barca have already reached out to Atletico Madrid to inform them that during Griezmann's one-year loan stay in Madrid, he has fulfilled the condition required for the 40 million euros fee as he played more than 50% of the games in that season. Atletico, for their part, want to reduce the fee, but if they refuse to pay 40 million euros, Barcelona plan to file a lawsuit. The Catalans are confident that they will win the case. Kylian Mbappe spoke about Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo in an interview with the Wall Street Journal. It's unlikely that you can repeat these career journeys to go down in history. They've changed people's perception of football. I think that's why their rivalry was so exciting for so many people. They've changed everything so that people no longer look at football the way they used to before. The same goes for these people's lives. Messi and Ronaldo have been fighting for 10 years, and I've been watching them all my childhood, the PhD striker said. PSG have already started thinking about a possible replacement for Lionel Messi for next season. According to Football Total, Paris Saint-Germain may already be aware that Messi has decided to leave Paris next summer. And we recall that Lionel already has an offer from Barcelona. The PSG board is considering the option of replacing him with Atletico star Antoine Griezmann. Football Total reports that the Paris club is willing to pay the Frenchman around 35-40 million euros per season. Griezmann's contract still belongs to Barcelona, while the Catalans will Will easily let go of the player who has the highest salary in the club. Antoine is currently playing at Atletico on loan, which is valid until the end of the year. A Blaugrana fan, nicknamed Captain Guardiola, has developed an interesting theory according to which Barcelona are close to signing Lionel Messi. According to the fan, everything is moving towards the fact that the Catalans will return Leo to his original club next summer. A well-informed Spanish journalist said a few months ago that Messi can only return if Gerard Piquet leaves Barcelona. After that, Xavi and Laporta hinted that they both wouldn't really mind that. In the aftermath, Laporta signed two new centre-backs while Xavi simply benched Piquet. I I don't know if it's gonna happen, but for now, the basic conditions are close to fulfillment. Earlier reports wrote that the relationship between Piquet and Messi eventually deteriorated last summer. Gerard allegedly suggested to the club's board to let the Argentinian go because it would unload the club's payroll to bring new signings to Camp Nou, and Leo ultimately found out about it. Dear friends, make sure to check out a new video from Football Club and find out how Haaland shocked Messi and Ronaldo. Enjoy the show. And that was Football News. Take care, you all, and have a great day.